My name is Jimmy Manning. I'm from uh, Cape Dorset and I've lived here uh, all my life, but I was born in uh, Lake Harbour, now called Kinderut. With Jim Houston coming here in Cape Dorset, he was very interested in sculpture and also producing prints, which was really, really something different for our very small community. You had artists that sell to the co-op, and then you had people already in the shops and in Wokbik who were able to work for the arts. Now people down south are interested in our work. Initially, everyone was astonished at this extraordinary talent that suddenly was found in the Canadian North that people hadn't understood was there. And the talent ranged from the astonishing innovation of an artist such as Kanoyawak Ashivak. Kanoyawak, my late aunt, she inspired me a lot. And I am amazed how this whole thing started. Well, that's the amazing thing. You go to this print shop that was built in the 1950s. I mean, this is the wellspring where it all started. And it struck me when I was there as a Canadian that this was a facility that our country needed to modernize. And the new prints are going to be much better for the fire coat hazard. They're going to be much better for us and also better equipment and better ventilator system. The community picked this location more than 40 years ago. So it's very centrally located at the heart of the hamlet. The building will be welcoming, uh, will be warm, uh, will be a place where both artists and the public will want to come because it is a place where it's fun to work in, it's a good place to work in, and it's a good place to meet. The cultural center part is very, very important to have and long overdue because there's so many people that has come through here from the south, from Europe, from Japan, from all over the world, very interested in seeing the art. Good afternoon, everyone. When we get tours, our studios can only take so much people and people have to line outside. It's never too late to teach a kid or a teenager to learn the cultures we know about the land. And hopefully someday they'll translate that story into paper too. My hopes are always high to kids after me will hopefully, like me, start drawing and be known worldwide. Just last week at Papier, there was a review of my booth by a reviewer from the Canadian Art Magazine, which said that the finest drawing in Canada is coming out of the Cape Dorset uh, Cooperative. This will be a great privilege to show the people outside the true meaning of Cape Dorset and art that's well known worldwide and this is the best place to uh, express Cape Dorset is through the culture center. We should all support the Kenoshawak Cultural Center, the print shop in Dorset. 
because if you're passionate about Canada, if you're passionate about the arts, and if you're passionate about Inuit people, this is the project. It is, I believe, one of the most important cultural projects in the country, and it deserves the support of all of us.